tell you a story. Bible says that Jesus was doing his travel and he, he traveled through Samaria. And he said, came to one portion of the scripture, said he, he needed to go through Samaria. And so he gets to Samaria and he goes by the way of Jacob's well. And when he gets to Jacob's well, the Bible says that he sits on the well. That's powerful. And six hours later, a woman comes to draw water for a man who ain't her husband. And because this particular woman had been into so many situations, she sort of kind of thinks that every time a man speaks to her, he's after her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because of the lifestyle she lives and the environment she's in. And so when Jesus turns to her and says, you know, give me some of this water, she said, oh, stop. This water is for my husband. He said, oh, wait a minute here. You have five husbands and the one you with ain't yours. Man, she done went through five situations, five marriages, five disappointments, five abusive affairs to the point that she says, I ain't never getting married again. I'm just going to have significance or situations. Can I preach a little while longer? Amen. Amen. So wounded, so broken, so, so, so upset, so ripped and so torn. But the most powerful thing about the text is that the well was sitting on top of the well because Jesus himself was the well. The well came to the well. Notice what he said to this woman. He said, if you drink of this water, you'll never, you'll never thirst again. It is the first time in scripture where, glory be to God, where we actually see Jesus waiting for somebody. Now, listen, I know that we wait on Jesus. But in this particular text, Jesus is waiting on the woman, waiting for her to get to where he is. Y'all in here, I'm saying, it wasn't on his schedule. It wasn't a part of his crusade. There was no meetings in the town. He didn't want to see Jacob's well. He was a well, but he knew that there was a woman in town who was having demonic problems. And he said, I'm going to go to that well, and I'm going to wait till she gets there. Can you imagine how powerful you are when God waits on you for years? He's been waiting on you and me, waiting for us to finish messing around, waiting for us to stop fooling around, waiting for us to stop drinking, waiting for us to stop cheating, waiting, 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 just waiting for a moment and an opportunity so he can come. Let us drink of the water. It's territorial. He knew that if he could touch this one woman, she would affect the entire city because everybody in the city knew her. So he said, I don't have to have a crusade in this city. All I need to do is talk to this woman. And if I can talk to this woman, I can get this woman. Glory be to God. And what does she do? After she takes one drink of Jesus, well, she runs and says, come see a man that told me, y'all they hear what I'm saying, that told me everything there is for me to know about myself. I don't know if you know it or not, but the satanic yokes are being broken over your life and your mind right this moment. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Open up your mouth and Shabbat God right now. See? See? The first act. See, the first act to deliverance. The first act to deliverance and victory is doing what you don't feel like doing. Because the reason why you don't do, feel like doing it is because there's an oppressive spirit that is on you preventing you from doing it in the first place. And so when you break past the oppressive thing, I don't feel like wave raising my hand, raise it anyhow. I don't feel like shabakin, scream anyhow. I don't feel like running, jump anyhow. The first part of your deliverance is by resisting the devil's command. Hallelujah. She goes through the town and she says, come see a man who told me everything. It's a territorial thing. 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 I'm trying to get it in your spirit. It's a territorial thing. It's not about you. It's about your whole territory. It's a territorial thing. It's about the school that you go to, the job that you work on, the house that you live in, the friends that you keep, the man that you're married to, the woman that you're married to, the children that were born to you. It's about everything. It's about your economy. It's about your future. It's a territorial thing. And until you break the territorial stronghold over your life, you'll be walking around talking about, well, you know, I just, that's how we are. Our families all messed up. 
stuff. Well, if the, the, you are the new seed and your whole family can change with you. I have decided that I'm not going to die like Derek and I'm not going to be locked up like Butch. I'm not going to be crazy like Pam and I'm not going to be schizo like Crystal. I've made up in my mind that I was purchased with the blood of the Lamb. And because I'm purchased with the blood of the Lamb, I'm making a difference in my life.